Guys, this is the most sketchy it's explorer yet, I'm telling you now. There's live houses there, there's builders out the front, there's a patrol every three hours, there's security, there's dogs, there's cameras, there's probably wild lions. There's like a massive old 70s, looks like 70s, maybe 60s style staircase. So people, risky explore this one. <laughs> Jesus, there's more security than anything up there. There's builders, there's people walking around. There's also, there's just everything. There's cameras on every gate. But this place has been abandoned for a long time. There's, there's over 300 million pounds worth of abandoned mansions just literally scattered. Guys, this place is absolutely huge. It's one of the richest parts of London. Walking in here is making my anxiety kick off. The security is so tight. We don't even know how long we got in here, even if we're gonna get caught or what. This place is absolutely huge. There's signs there that a restricted area. Why is that gate open? Yeah, is that another house? There's a fucking great dog in there. Yeah, it's a, like a husky dog. This is one huge mansion, I tell you. Go to the left side and you'll see a big white square gap. Go down there and there'll be a metal box. Guys, just check these uh, these huge mansions. Look at the stairway and the windows. So we don't even have to get in these guys. There's so like, high security around here. So guys, these have been empty for nearly a quarter of a century. 350 million pounds worth of vacant properties in the most prestigious, pres prestigious stretch of Bishopton. It's rated the second most expensive street in London. It's basically including 10 mansions from ballrooms. Basically, it's, it was, I believe it was Saudi Arabia. A lot of these were bought by. And it should just left us right, standing in the first mansion. As you can see, this is just a double garage. Obviously, a lot of these buildings wasn't complete. A lot of Saudi Arabia owners, I believe, bought these in London and made millions and then just left them to rot. As you can see, guys, they're just like building sites. I mean, guys. Explorers, check this out. I mean, this is just the indoor swimming pool. Like, imagine, you can see the size of this home. Like, you wouldn't think properties are like this, would you? Sitting in London. 
abandoned on the second most richest part of London, completely in abandoned. Oh, this is crazy. So guys, this is known as Billionaire's Row. I wouldn't recommend anyone coming up here to explore. We don't even know if we're gonna get in trouble yet. As you can see, that are just unplastered, unfinished walls. This is crazy, man, they didn't even finish them. I mean, look at the swimming pool. Completely in despair. God, it don't feel good. This explorer is just the steps below me, don't even feel safe. I mean, Christ, look at this, guys. This is absolutely crazy. This is ludicrous. That's such beautiful mansions. I mean, guys, imagine this now, coming through these steps, through these front doors, and that's your staircase. This is absolutely crazy. So guys, this is one mansion of about 10, I think, that are just sitting here, completely decaying away. I mean, guys, a lot of these have been empty since the 90s. I mean, look at the, look at the overgrown and stuff, just coming through the steps. The beautiful stained glass windows. I mean, this is absolutely huge. So you think the swimming pool is built in the lower level of the basement? That is a living space. I mean, I could fit my whole house in here. This is crazy. And the beautiful doors. They're just the decay is literally coming through everywhere. I mean, guys, look at them beautiful doors and the stairway. such a shame. There's such beautiful places that are just literally left to fall down. So guys, I'm heading on to the first floor. I don't know if I'm going to walk around a lot up here because as you can see the flooring is completely rotten. I don't feel safe on this floor. But as you can see it's just like an uncompleted building site. Like millions of pounds went into buying these and building these. She just left. This is criminal. Guys, I just, I'm in love with these windows and the pillars outside. It reminds me like Graceland's, like an American home. So guys, this flooring is completely rotten. Right I don't know if I want to. Easy to keep walking. You can see all the unplastered wall and the cables. And this ceiling's not even finished. It's been such a beautiful home.
As I said, guys, this is one mansion. Look at the stairs. As I said, the weeds and stuff are all growing through. It's absolutely mad. That guy's another staircase. But you can see in there that the flooring's just completely gone. I don't know how I want to walk. I don't want to fall. You can see the hole there. Guys, I'm not going to continue up there. And you can see they've put the stuff on it to protect this wooden staircase. And as we get further up, guys, the floor is just absolutely rotten. As I said, guys, this is one mansion. I'm literally walking in just one mansion. <laughs> and I know there's more on the land. It's absolutely crazy. It really is. It's mad to think how much money of properties are literally just sat around. I don't know if you can see it on the camera there. You can see all the cobwebs just literally building up all down the edge of the wall. It's so mad. So, heading back down this staircase, his home is built like for a king. You see all the details out there, the pillars and stuff. And it's beautiful like, looks like brass, brass railings and stuff. There's a crane up there with people that have probably just spotted us. Yeah. But guys, there's another mansion there. Looking back on that mansion, this place is absolutely insane, guys, honestly. But it's so scary. I never normally get worried about explorers, but this is really freaking me out. Look at that, guys. Mansion, huge. Second mansion. Guys, we don't even know if there's a way in all these, but we've got to check them out, guys. I mean, look, guys, another indoor pool. There's some serious craziness money here, guys. This is like insane. With a jacuzzi. So guys, some of them are locked. We don't break entrances. Don't find a way and we can't go in. Yeah. She's locked, guys. As you can see, what I'm trying to say, absolute billions, second richest like, town in London. We can even dogs and everything. This is Hickley House or something. Honestly, my heart is absolutely racing. Yeah, double garage again. I think we're just gonna have to see if we can get onto another one, guys. So, guys, this is the second house. Oh, look at the old intercom. 
This is crazy, isn't it, to think that all this is just abandoned. It's just up and left. So a lot of these were bull guys and literally are going to be pulled down to build luxurious homes. You can see the updated carpet and stuff. Absolute decay in the ceiling is literally just falling, guys. It's weird, there's another cooker room upstairs. It's really weird, at random. Stuff just still left. Old CCTV cameras. What the hell is that? It's like some radio or something. Some bits of papers. This guy says 2005. So even if you went by that, that's 14 years been abandoned. This is like the only room that shows there was life in this house. Looking out on the main road, you can see like how busy it is. So as I'm coming back through the kitchen, guys, there's another newspaper here. See, so it says 2001. It's like very dated, like ceiling and stuff. Old marble fireplace. The old lights. There's another fireplace there. So if we could guys they have got an indoor pool as well as I shown you through the window earlier and jacuzzi. It's crazy. We like their own jacuzzi. Size of swimming pool, guys. Mm -hmm. You got a shower as well, Sick. guys. When I thought this house had finished, <laughs> there's like a massive old 70s, looks like 70s, maybe 60s style staircase. How dated is that? It reminds me of an old, old working man's club or something. This is crazy. I didn't know this was it. This reminds me of an old caravan site. So I've been in there, there's a kitchen. Oh, check out the brown sinks, guys. Lovely. Lovely jable. Old mirrors. I'm going to take the walk of the stairs. So as you can see, the front doors are completely bolted up from the inside. Do you want a light? Mm. So it's weird that they've actually put stuff on it to protect the stairs. Oh, check out the frilly curtains, guys. This is three floors. <laughs> the hell? I was literally, I don't even know what part of the house I was in. <laughs> it's quite a dingy, dark. Makes you wonder, this is like obviously an ensuite bedroom. Like gold appliances. It shows you the size of this place. I didn't realise it was this big. Like honestly, you go up the other stairs, it's just two bedrooms. <laughs> and you come up here and it's like a... I've always got my camera out. I don't think it's worth it in this one. It's not that nice, is it really? No. Looks like a bloodstained footprint. 
Can up again. Yeah, I think we'll be alright. So we're going up to the second floor. I didn't even know this place had a second floor. Who decorated all these? Mm. I don't know at what point of someone's life thought, yeah, this looks really nice. Yeah, I'm getting out of here, it's full of black mould. My chest is already bad enough. Um, you see the ceilings there. Is like, is this all like modern stairs, but not? No, I know. See, looking back down. So we're going to try and hit the third mansion, we're going to leave this one now and head to the third. This guy's how crazy this is, we're at the third spot already. Just walking distance. Let's check this out, third location. This is unbelievable to think this is all just sitting around in the UK. Fortunately guys, there's no way in the third house. But we've got a number four just next door, so we're just gonna keep going. It's actually got stuff in this one. Yeah. I'm surprised it's crazy to think this house looks like it's actually furnished. Yeah it is. You can see that in there, just a few items, but all the windows are like nailed shut. Yeah. I think we should attempt the next one. Guys, this is crazy, that the fourth mansion. <laughs> so I don't know if we're going to get in all these, but it's just mental, just a picture of literally the houses just on a row, next door, next door. This house looks like it's live. See that just the decay on all these. Can't even see in there, guys. It's so mouldy that the green's gone in the window. Just can't even make out what's in there. It's a restricted area. It is just absolutely insane. It really is. Joking. How'd you get in that one? <laughs> Guys, that's the inside. I'm staying outside. Guys, the fourth, is this the fourth or third? This is the fourth, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So as you can see, she's completely locked, but look, again, the ceiling's just falling down in there. Such a waste, all these properties literally just sitting here. Fortunately, there's no way in number four, <laughs> no way in number three. But, this video is also just to show you really like how all these houses are just sitting there, abandoned. The rich Arabs obviously brought them up and now just left them. Hello guys and thank you so much for watching my video. Um, unfortunately I couldn't get into Mansion 3 and 4. We never break entrances, we always respect a place and we leave it exactly how we found it. As I said guys, a third of the mansions on the most expensive stretch of London Billionaires Row are standing empty. 
350 million pounds worth of vacant properties. Obviously, that is the land cost as well as obviously the houses are in quite bad state and stuff. But um, yeah, guys, I'm so thankful for watching my video and clicking on it. Please um, hit that like and subscribe button. I'm very sorry for the quick ending. Um, we had to get off because we just kept hearing security patrols. Um, but yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. Please check out my other videos. Hit that like and subscribe button. And also remember to hit the notification bell so you can see my weekly uploads. Well, I'm going to try and upload weekly. I'll try and hit the best spots, guys. A lot of spots that other people haven't seen and uh, a lot of places that are completely shut. So, guys, as I said, thank you so much. Love you all. Take care. Look after yourselves. And see you soon on the next adventure.